All right, guys, welcome back to Tackle with PGA Tour 2009. And we're going to go ahead and start off with Morgan Pressel's Challenge, which is a Stableford. No. I want to do the event. Oh, skip an event, yeah. We're skipping that whatever event it was that wasn't white, the ones that we can skip and still play everything else. Analog two? What? what? Oh, I was like, what's going on? All right, wind is like that. I hate that there's no announcer with the um, challenges and stuff, only on the tournaments. They could have still put in some stuff like they had in the old games, you know. Oh, they're not gonna, you know, in the rough, or it was a great drive, you know, something. Something. Dang it, I was trying to get, be short of that. So I was gonna put just a little bit of power on it. But it was still too much. Uh, and if I'm a little bit sniffly and stuff, excuse that. My allergies have been really, damn it, acting up um, today. It's not very warm out, but the wind has just been blowing like crazy all month long. Um, oh, too hard. A little bit too hard. Or it was just straight in. And, um... So I didn't even go, I couldn't, oh, well, I can't, not gonna say I couldn't. I didn't even go to the range at all this weekend because it was like 50, but it was, bl the wind was gusting like 30 miles an hour. And I didn't feel like needing a stocking cap and everything because it's going to feel like it's, I don't know, 35. Oh, 110 was too much. A little bit of power would have been good, like maybe 103. God. Ah, that was a downhill shot, so I was like, oh, maybe it's gonna be like, you know, real life and go a little bit f further and roll out, but it did not. That's okay. Wonder if this is all nine holes. I really hope it's not 18. If it's 18, then I won't be able to do as many as I wanted to. Um, but I will say I am going to be in my course's biggest tournament of the year the towards the end of May. Um, I signed up for it now so that it's not like booked when I forget, I never really forget to sign up for it because that's always what happens. I forget to do it until like the week before and they're like, oh, it's all filled. Like I said, it's their, their biggest tournament, so I need to really play good. And right now, I mean, right now my wedges are really good. My putting is decent. I won't get into trouble with my putting anyway. Uh, my iron play is pretty darn good. Um, I'm not worried about really getting into too much trouble, like 
water hazards or anything like that off of the tee with an with an iron but right now my driving is very iffy and so that could be good it's alright um, over the next like as long as the weekends aren't super rainy or cold for some reason I'm gonna have to uh, go and just practice driving and putting because for me right now those are the two most important things um because like I said everything else is at least really pretty good uh, even my putting is but putting can always be better and you know I hold two pretty long but pretty important putts the last time I went and played and I shot a oh that's too far I shot a 79 7 over uh, which isn't too bad but I was only 2 over for the front 9 but I was 5 over for the back the back 9 I just couldn't get anything going and then on the 17th um, drove it. Where did I drive it? Drove in the fairway. My second shot was really short of the green, and I did a stupid thing. Tried to flop it. I was on the fairway. It was a tight lie. I tried to flop it because I didn't really have that much room to work with and I didn't want to bump it in case it just stopped you know so and I'm pretty darn good at the flop but it you know just hit it too hard went like t well, almost 30 feet past the hole all right so now we're gonna go and do the Arnold Palmer Invitational um, but I made the putt for par and then on the first hole, I was in the fairway. Second shot was short. No, no, my second shot was on the green, but I was like 50, 55 feet away. I was a really long way away. Um, let's try. Eh, almost worked out. Almost. Um, I felt like, man, it's been a while, so a two putt is all I want. Wow, that was awful. Um, oh my god, that was so <laughs> But I hit the putt and I it was dead on line, but it was like eight foot short. And I was like, oh my god, don't let me three putt on the first hole. But I made the next one. Uh, and it was really weird because there's there were a ton of like little fly bugs. I don't know what they were. They're were flying bugs. Um, they're tiny, all over the green. I don't know what they were. But um, I think they made the greens bumpy because my ball was bumping everywhere, and it the bumps actually cost it. Uh, or what cost me a birdie putt on a par 5 I've never birdied. Um, it was going right to the hole, right to the hole, and then it just kept bumping and finally just bumped to the right and then just missed. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we could go right there. Only 118? Okay. Um, but anyway, like I said, the, the first drive, it was in the fairway, but it was pretty short. I was like 200 yards away from the hole, and if I get a good drive, I can be only 150 um, on the first one, so not great. And the second hole was good as well. I was about... 
10 yards away from the hole. I can almost green that one. Ah. <sighs> okay. But then I don't use driver. Oh, come on. It just broke a little bit too much. I don't use driver until hole 11. So hole 1, 2, and then 11. Because both par 5s, I need to use 3 wood because the first one, unless I can draw the ball, which I can't with a driver, unfortunately, um, there's no use in using it. Um, dang it. So, and in the next part four, there's a pond. Like, honestly, I probably can't even use my three wood there anymore. But, uh, the 11th hole, which is 641 yards for me. So that's a hole where it's, I guess I, I technically don't need my driver. Oh, this is the hole that Bryson almost, the par five that Bryson almost greened. Um... I don't need to use driver, but I don't only want to be like hitting it maybe maybe 260. If I get a good one, I can get my three wood to 280. But I mean that's oh god. Yep. Didn't mean to go 95. Even though it said it was uphill, I knew once it hit to the went to the hole, it was it was going off. All right, I made it. But um, I could go like, let's say minimum it was 250. I hit it 250. Then I hit it another 200, so 450. I would still need 160 yards left. And you know, you, you don't want that. You don't want a third shot in 160 yards, you know. But when I, so I hit it to the right, my drive, when I played last. And it was in the trees, but the trees are kind of sparse. Right there. And um, I had to hit under them, but like I said, or I could play it out left. But like I said, you know, I'm, I don't want to have like 160 yards left. Oh, I did not need top spin. Um, I don't want to have 160 yards left on my third shot. So I, I had 300, about 350 yards left. So I had hit it about to 80 to 90 depending on um, where the pin was so I took my three hybrid and just punched it through the trees and you want to talk about one of the best punch shots you'd ever see under under the tree it only went like five feet into the air if that I don't even think it was that high but the thing went like 250 yards. So I only had about 100 yards left in. No, I had 120, so it went 230. So it went a, a really long way for a punch shot that went as low as it did. I was pretty proud of that. Can I go over this? Yeah. Um, but then there's a bunch of Um, par fours after that where I do use my driver and it's basically if you don't use your driver on three of them you're going to be left with like 200, 210 yards back and into a par four unless you know can't help it I don't want that And then the 18th hole is the only par 5 um, 
I can guarantee to get it on a two if I get my driver in the fairway. Oh man, how did that flip out? So that one I really want to, and, and it's not like I need a wood or even a hybrid to get onto the green. I need a, like a mid iron, maybe. If I hit it like 290. So I really want to get my driver on track because, you know, if I only used it for one or two holes, okay. Don't really need to stress about it too much. But I, ah, dang it. I thought I would get more power than that. But I use it for just enough holes. Wow, I thought I was going to get more power. I use it for just enough holes. <sighs> Wasn't breaking that much. And the holes are long enough for me to need it. So, really need to get that straightened out. Because I've gotten my woods in decent shape. I s I'll still have an errant shot here and there. But it's they're doing way better than my driver at the moment. And then putting just because... So I made those two really, really good putts the last time I played, but... I had three, maybe four birdie putts under 10 feet and didn't make a single one. I made my long putts, but I didn't make a short one at all. So... Oh, I'm cracked. And I would really, really love to do well in the tournament because the first thing I played in was a match play. I lost the second round of that. And there were only two more rounds after that, but I still, you know, lost. Yeah! Um, but the dude was, he shot scratch and I didn't get any strokes on any holes because at the time wow that I did not realize the screen did that wow Whew. um didn't have a handicap so hey loved up Um, then the next thing was a Ryder Cup type event. It went on for two days. And we got one point each day. The max you could get was two. Um, and we ended up tying in points, the teams. Um, so, oh man, even though you have to rely on your partner, if I could have just played a little bit better, oh, we could have gotten that extra point. Or, because there was a playoff on a par 3, and I was playing extremely well that day. I only shot like 2 over. If they would have put me in that playoff, I think we would have won. Because a par won it. And I, we would have definitely either parred and went to another hole, or we would have played the hole again. Or we would have birdied it. Wow, that was horrible. I tried to go like 90%. How it went that far, I have no idea. Are you kidding me? So yeah, want to do well, but that's in um, oh, almost two months from now. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a whole 18. And 
entering playoff. They have a playoff. Damn, if I just wouldn't have bogeyed that hole. What hole do we play? Oh, par three, come on. Oh man, if that was a little bit more. Damn it. Some of the chips, it if it doesn't show you landing like five feet before, you're almost screwed. How many people are we playing off against? Good God, there's five people. Okay, wind's helping. Oh my god, I didn't think the flop was gonna do that. Damn it. Yes. Do we win? Second? Someone eagled it? No. What? Whatever, man. I guess couples eagled the hole. Whatever. Didn't need to win anyway. We only need to win the playoffs, I think. Okay, we have 10 points. Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll just finish off driving. And I've yet to figure out how to figure out... I've yet to figure out... I have yet to figure out where to see I am, where I am in the FedEx Cup. I have no idea. But let's go ahead and do Jesper Parnovic. He is stroke fly. Ugh. Uh, what event are we skipping again? The stupid one? Yeah, just that. Okay. Well, the good thing is it starts on a par three. Oh, I thought that was gonna bounce. And you guys know how bad I am at the par threes. Oh my god, I was gonna say, but now don't we chip in. three par threes in a row they're like we know you suck at them go do a bunch of them damn he's good at him Five or not, or not, I need to put backspin on it. Oh, 
Oof. A little short. Finally, not a par three. Oops. Right, all right guys, since you've only hit irons for the past three holes, how about you hit your driver now? You're like, oh god, I haven't hit it in so long. Good birdie, good birdie, but I got an eagle. Good shot. Oh, okay. I'll say I guess this one is nine holes since when I made the putt it didn't say you won or anything. But nope. Alright, but I mean we're gonna end it there. <laughs> um I think that's what I might do is just um, three events in each video um, that way don't get too stale but we have the CA championship coming up Oops. Um, after that Steve Elkington challenge and then oh a two-rounder the EA Sports major championship okay so that's what we have to look forward to in the next one hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and I'll see you